morning everyone here from Aguas Calientes in Peru this is the town that people stay in to visit Machu Picchu which we just visited a few hours ago that was the last video we were just having a quick breakfast here really beautiful the town yeah because of the, the mountains it's surrounded surrounded by huge mountains so it makes it look amazing really gigantic mountains everywhere so Machu Picchu is just that way if you get on the bus it's about 15 minutes to get there it's also beautiful here because you have these rivers flowing through and another nice thing is that you get these restaurants with great views these are all restaurants that says Mexican food pizza pasta Peruvian food oh with great views though So this is another river, a different one, that's flowing through the town. They also got these nice bridges everywhere. As you can see, it's very modern. I think this place only really exists because of Machu Picchu. I don't think there was much here before Machu Picchu. So all the hotels are quite new. And in the direction that we're going now, there's some thermal baths. They have some natural thermal springs or something here. I don't know if we're gonna enter them. We're gonna see if we can look at them at least yeah so it really is tiny we were just here at the train tracks probably walked about five minutes to this part and you can see that the town already ends that's where the thermal baths are so really really small town and those are the two rivers aguas calientes is this one here and when we were planning our trip to machu picchu we were thinking about staying another night here but we talked to some people and they said there's not much to do and right now that we are here we can see that one night is enough you don't need to stay uh, like two days here because I don't, don't think there's so much to do yeah I think it's just the thermal baths and Machu Picchu obviously that's a cool carving what's it saying? it's basically the impossible love between the wind god and the mother earth Pachamama Ah, okay, it's like the Inca religion, right? Yeah. The wind god. Yeah, their religion is all based around um, nature, which is pretty cool. They always talk about Pachamama, Mother Earth. Baños de Maris, hot springs. Yeah, the problem is it's so warm right now. I need a cold spring, not a hot spring. That's why we're not sure if we're going to go in. So we're gonna go for it. It's 20 soles per person. And she just said that there's actually a waterfall that you can visit and swim in. I think it's kind of cold though. So that's cool. I didn't know there was a waterfall here. So here's the thermal baths, tiny baths. These ones are bigger down here. So there's, I think there's four or five of them. Oh, this place looks pretty cool too. I think it's like a, a bar. Looks pretty funky. This one's pretty hot. Yeah, 93 Fahrenheit. Oh, there's a sign there. Yeah. 34 degrees. Yes, yeah, so I think each pool has different temperature. Weird color though, isn't it?
ended up spending about 30 minutes in the hot spring. We just stayed in the same bath because the others were pretty busy. I'm not sure if they open it at night when it's cooler. Probably it'd be better when the temperature's a bit lower. There's already some waterfalls here. And I guess the main one's right here. Right next to the thermal springs. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I didn't know about this at all. Oh, I think that's the main one back there, isn't it? Yeah, that's the big one. We need to climb up. Yeah, let's go. coming from it yeah definitely worth the 20 solids then this is even better than the, the thermal bath beautiful waterfall yeah i asked the lady if you could swim she said yeah but <laughs> well you're allowed to but it doesn't mean there's like a proper uh, area to swim yeah nobody's swimming This is the main walking street here in Aguas Calientes. The majority of the places, uh, restaurants, places you can eat, cafes. We actually stayed in this building here. Peru, coca, bread and breakfast. Pretty simple, but well, not too bad. And last night we ate right here. It was a pretty good meal. I think we're gonna eat at a place with a view though. Yeah, on the riverside. Yeah, I wanna get some views since we're gonna be leaving soon. Menu of the day, 20. It was at 20 solids. Oh, thanks. So it's a lot more lively at night. A lot more people around dinner time. Right now it's pretty quiet. So this is what happens if you don't have a Machu Picchu ticket before you get here. You have to queue up in this big queue on the right. Absolutely massive queue. Probably gonna have to spend hours to get a ticket. So in front of the Centro Cultural, you can get a Machu Picchu stamp on your passport. For free. For free. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Mine. There we go. So this is the main square of the town. Not sure what it's called. The church here. We actually came here last night, but we didn't see it during the day. We saw that there's this epic statue though. I guess it's Pachacutic, once again, famous emperor. Machu Picchu Pueblo. That's a cool shot right there. beginning of the video so you can get pizzas 37 the cheapest 46 the most expensive comida mexicana mexican food around the pr same price around the 40s pretty much they have the guinea pig again how, how am i supposed to order that with that cute guinea pig picture impossible 110 that's the price you pay for eating cuteness so i think i'm gonna go for lomo a la parilla grilled loin 
at 60. Now go with the trucha a lo mate. <laughs> the macho trout. The macho trout, that's the, the translation. <laughs> oh, they actually, they actually translated it that way. 45. Got the live musicians. some free time before we get the train back to Cusco so we're just gonna check out the local market maybe get some bracelets we haven't gotten any yet you want one like that I don't know I don't know what I want just looking some colors naturales or coloridos some del paca so I got these two bracelets five each Carol also got a bracelet here. Also five, right? Yes. Same price everywhere. And we got this as a present. Just to hold um, hot things, I think. Hot pants. Yeah. yeah I'm not sure if uh, your mom's gonna use for, for that or just for decoration because it looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, the llamas or alpacas. That was 30. Yeah, okay, handmade. So we're now at the train station, we're going to be making our way back to Cusco. This is actually part of the Inca Trail tour that we did in the last video with Guru Explorers. It's just the return that was included, but we're going to be heading back on an upgraded train. And what, what's the name of this train again? Uh, Vista Dome Observatory. It's more like a luxurious uh, version of the, the simple one that we got to come, to come here. More and scenic as well, I more think. More scenic, that's the main reason that we're getting, because it's more scenic and also there's some like snacks and I think even a cultural presentation. Is this the one, see? Si. Yeah, it is. We got a jazz show. It looks kind of the same as the one that we came on. Yeah, this part, it looks kind of similar, but I think we have access to uh, an area where it's like very amazing and it's more like glass and you can see pretty much everything. I think in the, the end of the train, the last carriage. So we can go there? Yes.
party is better than the views. Yeah. <laughs> we came for the views, but we get the party. So now we know what the Vista Dome was. Yeah, so that was the, the main part of the main thing of the, the trip. And it was very nice. Like I said, uh, I think the, the fun part was the, was the music and the dance and stuff. But the view was also very, very cool. I didn't know that we were actually able to go outside too on the front. Yes, yes, you can like put your head outside. But yeah, it's very beautiful with the scenery. <laughs> It is nice with the windows at the top though, so you can see like the top of the forest. some snacks not like a proper meal quinoa cookies and some sort of granola bar quinoa again what else ah. candy. yeah we've been taking that a few times mm -hmm. and a chocolate bar 52 percent cacao yeah. yummy yeah. Back in Cusco now, when we arrived in Ollantay Tambo, there was a bus waiting for us. So that was also included in the Machu Picchu tour that we did on the previous days. And if you're interested in the Vista Dome Observatory train, it's actually better to get it from Ollantay Tambo to Machu Picchu, the opposite direction, because there won't be the blue carriage on the front. So when you're in the Vista Dome carriage, it will be completely open. And another really good tip is to always try and get seats on the side of the river because that's the side that's pretty much completely open the whole time. So from Ollantay Tambo to Machu Picchu you want to sit on the left like we did and then from Machu Picchu to Ollantay Tambo you want to sit on the right. This time we were on the left and it's less scenic. You still see some mountains but there's a lot of times where it's closed. You're kind of seeing a wall, so it is better to always sit on the riverside if you have that option. And in the next video, we're actually gonna be heading back to Ollantay Tambo and staying there for a few days to explore it properly. So that's what's coming up. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.